I hope you understand at this point why I called Eggheart Eggman. <laughs> yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is the final chapter in the game, Chapter 10, Secrets and Salvation. Let's get this sucker started on hard, of course. Let's go! Oh, loading screen is longer than my song. Uh, this chapter, in my opinion, is probably the lamest chapter in the game. Hey there. Just saying. I finally found some painkillers. They should work pretty fast. And I'll explain why as I go. The cannon stopped. Where's McNeil? He said he was on his way back. That was a while ago, though. Give him a call. We should be ready to go when he arrives. Nate? All right, let's get up in. By the, by the way, that's a pool of my own blood, in case you didn't notice that. I'm a little dizzy, though. Yeah. He's not. No. Keep trying. Dang it! Why did he have to go find his subway sub? Why did he want that BLT so much? What the poop? Don't throw your iPhone. We're getting out of here. Nate, Doctor Hyle, Nicole. I won't let them have died for nothing. All right. But well, she, she just grabbed their phone. That that thing's gotta be broken. Anyway, yeah, of course here they come. You're gonna get stasis because you're the quicker one. And that I just killed him in one hit. Wow. Well, that works for me, I guess. Look around the room, see if there's anything that you can pick up. Um. Huh? Is there seriously nothing? Seriously? Can I pick up that crate way in the background? Oh wait, I can grab this. Text log. Do 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 do. Uh, as I said before, you'd be wise to pause the video to read these things, but it'll waste a lot of time in the walkthrough, so I'm not going to. I'll be explaining the ending later. So, uh, there's some more critters coming here, as expected. We must defend the ship. Oops, that was bad. <laughs> we must... Oh, pooper, what? Okay, they're, they're very far behind me. You really didn't have to war warn me about them. I could hear them coming when they came closer, or if they would come closer. By the way, I'm just using my rivet gun for this whole thing, in case you don't realize. This is... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, why did I do a stasis and not a, a kinesis? <laughs> uh, why this is the lamest chapter in the game, in my opinion, is because it's very, very easy to fend off the attacks, and you aren't really doing much more than this the whole thing, the whole chapter. So it, like, it, like, takes away the surprise, the suspense, the atmosphere, everything from the other chapters that made them so, you know, uh, that have such a great storyline, and, you, well, you get the idea, I guess. Oh, shoot, no, 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 no laggy lag. Oh, you got pants. You have pants, so you have more. Oh, you have pants, too. You have a lot of power, then. I just took off his arm accidentally there. I was aiming for his leg. No, 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 oh, no, 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 I don't think so. No. No. No, I said. You are gonna die. You are definitely going to die. Oops. And no, 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 no. Oh, I don't have any more stasis left. I've been, I was stasising way too much there. So let's just uh, take out his leg. And, uh, and I still don't have any... There we go. I was gonna say, I still don't have any stasis. But yeah, part of the environment of this game is the suspense and uh, not not knowing what's going to happen next. But this thing is, I mean, this area is pretty much predictable. You move around the ship. No, no. You move around the ship and you shoot off these guys. And basically every kind of these guys, these necromorphs, come at you in the game. Like every single one of them. So, I guess there's a lot of variety in the things that hit you, or try to hit you at least. But, you know, it's it's not like you're... It's not like it's a surprise attack or anything like that. It's just constant waves of these guys. Nope. I don't think so, girlfriend. <laughs> and there we go. And now we're going to move around the side of the ship. Wait, no, wait. Oh, she's going to take care of the, uh, this one. That was awesome of her. She helped a lot more than uh, uh, Weller did in other missions, it sure seems like, doesn't it? Lex, watch my back. Uh, I thought we were going to go around this sh Jeez. ship. 
I thought, no wait, I was thinking of another chapter, never mind. But yeah, there's a, there's another wave of them. Oh, we are going around the ship. Okay, never mind, I was right. Dude, this cargo lift goes down to block their way from coming towards you. You would think they would like to guard the opening of the ship. You know, to prevent them from going inside the ship while we're not looking. But to no avail. Well, they go inside the air ducts now. As well as climbing along the walls, like this one that's coming there. And uh, just get ready to shoot him. Uh, what's inside that box? Uh, P-Sec pistol ammo. <laughs> and here comes one through the vent, as expected. Lexine's helping there, but she's not a very good shot, as you can see, so I guess I'll be taking care of this myself. Look, I guess she's better off when she's solo taking care of them or something. So now we're gonna go around the ship this way. And be, be on the lookout for a weapon upgrade. If I'm not mistaken, there's a weapon upgrade somewhere around here. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, but just shoot these guys. We'll get to it as we get to it. Ooh, blow him up. Make sure he's blown up before he, before he blows you up. Unless you want to wait until they group together or something. Oh god, that's one of the ones with the, uh, with the babies inside of them. Those things suck so bad. Uh, flamethrower, flamethrower. The babies are coming. Babies are coming. <laughs> and I'm going to blow up. Mr. Uh, <clears throat> TNT there, like that, there we go, that will help a lot. I'm, I'm only using the flamethrower because those babies die so easily from one hit of anything, and I, and I don't want them to jump on my face because otherwise, you know, it's, it's gonna take longer than it should. Oh, no, 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 I see them. I see them, oh, poobars! The, the camera did not allow me to get, get rid of them in time. Curse you, camera. Well, that's good enough for me anyway. Let's recharge our weapons, as long as we have the time. And there we go! So, okay, get that, get that! Oh, dang it! That was the thing I was looking for. I don't know what weapon upgrade that is. I never got it before, actually. I just know it's there. Uh, you... You're going down, for certain. Where the heck is she shooting at? Jesus! She's, like, aiming towards above the door or something. Hello, Lexine. Aim towards... The critters, thank you. Okay, now you're aiming way toward the left, to the left. Come on, though, man. There's another log over there. Ooh, weapon upgrade is over here. Oh, I can't get it just yet. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I, I accidentally hit its stomach, which will open it up and make those babies come out. No, 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 Oh, poopers. Gimme. Okay, now look back over to the right. I know I get another shot at, at getting that weapon upgrade. Or maybe I don't. Dang it. No, 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 no. Um, I'm gonna go to my pistol, because it's got, it's got faster shooting for these. Even though it's kind of weak, it's still fast enough to take care of these pretty well. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I tried to do a super recharge, or I should say a super reload real quick there. Yeah, didn't work out too well. Crate, gimme, crate, gimme, 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 oh, come on. <laughs> Finally! I didn't know you could fly. I can't. But I can figure out how to fire an engine. And you're Yay! Health! Me. Obviously I'm a better shot than you. Okay, here again it's more the same. So uh who would have expected that? Pretty much everyone, and, and that's what makes this chapter so lame in my opinion. Because it's very, very predictable. I mean, I, I guess it's intense in the way that you're trying to defend your ship from these critters, but it's just the same things over and over again, so it's not really all that special. And they all start so far away from you, except for those flying enemies, that, that they pretty much, you know, they don't really have... The, they don't put any pressure on you to kill them. And that's another problem that destroys this chapter's atmosphere, is that there's there's no real difficulty to it. But I guess it's a part of the story anyway, so gotta do it! Even though you're not gonna have any trouble with this one whatsoever. Ooh, explosive canister! Me want to shoot! Kablooey! Oh, I, I, I missed them both? What the poop? Well, I can blow you up and blow you up pretty easily, as well as that uh, one with the tail. Uh, why don't I try taking your arm off first? Always the legs, PK Gam. Gimme. Uh, contact beam. Nah. Alright. 
More to come. Wow, this is so threatening. He's so close by. Oh, I didn't have any time to react to that. Yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> and uh, the ending of this game, I'm not going to spoil it just yet. It's also pretty lame in my opinion. Namely because it it ends on kind of a bad note in the way that it it leaves it leaves you wondering what's gonna happen next. And you know, it doesn't really explain anything about what happened in the ending. You'll see what I mean when when we get to it. So uh, in the meantime, let's just shoot more of these things, necromorphs. Yeah, come on. Come on, I know you got pants. Did he just die there? Yeah, I know they're still coming. Of course they're gonna keep coming. Because that's all this chapter's about. No, 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 no. Oh, I didn't have any stasis there. Oh, well. I guess that put some pressure on me there. And uh, now they're starting to charge after me. But as you can see, I have plenty of health from the uh, parts beforehand. So I'm not really gonna have much trouble even if I take hits over here. Uh, because of the very easy difficulty. As you can see, I'm still just pretty much using the rivet gun for this whole thing. I'm gonna go to the flamethrower for this guy, just because I can, because it'll kill his babies as he pops them out of his belly. There we go. And I got Mr. Explosive here. There we go. And another regular old necromorph. Oh wait, this one has pants, never mind. Uh, there's really nothing even, even to commentate about on this one. Because, you know, it's just the same thing. Ooh, gotta blow you up for sure. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, just stasis that. Blow you up. There we go. I had to get uh, Mr. TNT over there before uh, he blows me up. Because that would hurt a little bit. They do the most damage of all necromorphs, if I'm not mistaken. You know, the ones with those explosive orange arms. And I see another one with babies coming towards me. I'm gonna wait till they come in closer and then just flamethrower them. If I can, like this, yeah, that'll make things a lot easier. Hey, where'd you come from, baby? I was flamethrowing the ground, or burning the ground. Excuse me. And where'd the other guys go? Did I kill them all already? Dang it! Why did McNeil have to get a subway sandwich? And man, she's a horrible shot. Look at that! Oh wait, I think she got that one there. Okay, flamethrower. Charizard used flamethrower! It's super effective! They can't even come close to you because you're burning them. Uh, so, how's it going, guys? You are going to be losing your limbs very soon, and that will be very beneficial to me. Because it'll slow you down quite a bit, and there is some slowdown in the game itself. Oh well. And uh, that takes care of that. Wait, do you hear something? It's McNeil! Yeah! He made it! Though he's kind of missing something. Man, that's quite the paper cut you got there, man! Did you, did you get that paper cut on your subway wrapper? There we go. Don't even bother with the rest of them now. They won't even get in. Alright, time to escape. And that is pretty much the end of the chapter. No joke. Seriously, that's it. It was just that onslaught, and then... It's over. That's it! We made it. Yeah, we did. Here, take over. We're on course for the sprawl. You just need to monitor the autopilot. Keep in mind that both McNeil here, as well as me, uh, Weller, has yeah, suffered some it. pretty bad injuries. You can wait till we get home. What?! Yeah, You're missing a hand! What do you mean you can wait? Soul. Who'd have guessed we had one last mission in us? <laughs> Not just one last, the last. As of right now, I'm officially retired. Smart guy, I would do that too. <laughs> Alright, wake me up when we reach the sprawl. And... I'm going to sleep.
Yep. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelgen responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. Hey! This is Ishimura Shuttle 23. Kelgen, don't go in there! Do you hear me? Man, that's Damn the it, definite gone. truth. <laughs> Nap time. Or is it? And, uh, yeah, that's the end of the chapter. Lexine, what the heck? Am I a necromorph? Or is this a dream? <laughs> 